Okay, oftentimes you'll get out to shoot and you'll need to do an establishing shot. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give you some extra B-roll to work with. It's gonna help the viewer understand where you are. In this case, we have a building behind us and what we'll do is we'll take a nice wide shot of that building. In addition to that, the second thing I'll do is if there's a sign in the front, I might get a shot of that sign. I don't always do that, but what I want to do is I want to teach you the proper way to shoot some of that signage that can go with that establishing shot because there's a right way to do the signage and there's a wrong way. So first thing we want to do is we want to set up the establishing shot of this. Let's get that. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. You're seeing what I'm seeing. And right now it's extremely bright. So I'm going to put in one ND filter and because it's so bright, I'll put in my second ND filter Checking my iris, I got plenty of latitude on that. So then I'm going to zoom in and I want to iris up and check my focus. So right in there, I see it's good. And I'll lose those zebra bars. And now what I'll do is I'll actually frame the shot that I want. So I'm going to go full wide. I'm going to push this in just a hair. And check my iris one more time, make sure it's at a level that I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the tripod locks and let that shot roll and record for about 10 seconds. And this can be a real quick establishing shot. Now we'll move over and we'll take a look at the signage and see how we can combine that with an establishing shot real quickly before we even go into the building. Okay, so once you have an establishing shot of that exterior of the building that you might be doing an interview in, or maybe that's, uh, you know, the subjects in there or something, one other thing that can help you possibly, you know, you may not use this shot, but you might, is getting a signage shot from that. So it tells people you saw the building, okay, now maybe we'll cut to a sign shot. It's just something that helps you. This isn't something that you do on a regular basis. But what I want to point out here is that there's different ways to do it. And uh, what I see a lot of is a student will come out and then they'll be straight on. They'll come and they'll shoot this shot straight on with the sign. And there's several problems with that. One is that it's just not a very good angle. It's you know flat, it's very uh, monotone. And then the other thing is if you were out here, you would see that the building behind that sign is not Hovey Hall, which doesn't match the sign. So what you wanna do is eliminate things like those buildings behind it and take those sign angles and make them unique. Even though it's a sign, there's just so many different ways that you can shoot that sign. So let's go ahead and if I was gonna do this, I would probably start by moving my camera all the way up near the sign. So I can get that camera in there and get a unique angle here. I've been looking over here earlier and I saw even behind it, there's another wide angle shot that I might be able to get that establishing shot, plus that uh, building name is in there. I may use that shot rather than the one that I shot earlier. But what I wanna do is I wanna give myself options. So later on when I'm editing, I might use that wide shot we had shot earlier. I might use the one that I have over here. I might use the tight sign shot if we need that shot of the building and the name but I wanna have options. That's what it's all about, is getting a lot of different unique angles. And typically when I'm out here and I get into these buildings and I'm gonna shoot this signage, it takes three or four minutes. It's not something that I spend 30 minutes on. I don't wanna slow the reporter down. We wanna keep the flow going and we wanna to get to the important stuff, which is like, let's say the interview or the subject or the story. But if I can spend three or four minutes and get these one or two good signage shots, that can help that story a lot and cover us with some B-roll if we're short on B-roll. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like when we get the close shots and then that other wide shot that we might use. Okay, then when you get this side shot, you can see people walking behind it. It adds a little bit more to it. It breaks things up. There's no uh, building behind it. We don't see Hovey Hall behind it, but we also don't see a different building behind it. So this is one option that we may or may not want to cut in later. But for the amount of time it takes, these are good shots just to get in the, your back pocket. And there will be shoots where you have to get some type of signage shot. So you want to mix this up and you want to start working with different angles as much as you can so that you're ready for those times when you have a shoot that requires a signage shot. Okay, so from this shot here, it's nice that uh, we found this because this is a wide shot. It says Hovey Hall right there on the sign. And this may be something we're going to use later on the other. We've already shot two shots. This is our third one. Again, three or four minutes is about how long it takes to get all the signage. So we just want to have options. We may not need it. We may need it. If you don't have those shots, then you can't use them. But if you got them, they're there if you need them. And here's our establishing shots tips to remember. Shoot your establishing shots and signage from off center. Look for good compositional elements when you're shooting these. If you have a building behind it, if you have other elements within the picture, it's gonna be a lot more interesting than shooting just a plain sign. 
And finally, don't spend more than five minutes with your establishing and signage shots. You want to go in there and you want to get those quickly. You don't want to distract from your story.